Bulgaria might have increased its minimum wage this year to 286 euro per month, but it still offers the lowest wage out of all European Union states. Elena Marvakova is one of many of Bulgaria's low-paid textile workers. She has 33 years of work behind her, but her take-home pay is just a meager 340 euros a month. She has joined Podkrepa, a Bulgarian workers' union pushing for higher pay. And like many workers, she is also demanding that the European Union takes action. She wants a common minimum wage across the block. Are Bulgaria's laws made for human beings or are they made for robots? We work non-stop with this system. Our employer legalized almost a kind of forced labor system. A lifetime of low-paid work also results in a basic pension. 80 years old Atlasa Stereva began working at just 15. She has planted trees, been a cook and produced zippers in the garment industry. In her old age her pension is worth just 150 euro per month and around 50 euros of it goes immediately on her electricity and medical bills. That means I just have about 100 euros left until the end of the month for daily expenses. When I look into the shop windows, I see a lot of goods I can't afford to buy. Fortunately, my children support me. Without them, I couldn't survive. I'm as poor as a church mouse. Thanks to my children, I have some heating so I won't get sick. They buy me the wood for heating. Low pay is the main driver for Bulgarians to seek their fortunes elsewhere in the European Union, but it comes at a high social risk, splitting families and lives across two countries. At least 20 million people should be lifted out of the risk of poverty and social exclusion by 2020. This is the official target of the European Union, but this target will be difficult to reach with a minimum wage of just 286 euro per month. Hans von der Breli in Bulgaria for Euronews. The full Insiders report on Bulgarians' low wages will be on air today at Euronews.